Hello guys, this is a video. Normally I do videos of my cat and my dog, but today I'm gonna show you my garden. This is my pumpkin patch. I don't know if anyone's ever grown pumpkins before, but they're getting pretty big. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit and show you how the pumpkin patch is just completely it just got so full. You gotta water them every day though. Even if we have heavy rains, but we got pumpkins here. I started naming them. Oh, We're gonna have so many pumpkins. This one's Avery. I named her Avery. She's the first one I ever noticed when all these little flowers are coming up. They're creating little baby pumpkins. We have a huge one in here that's already, they're all hidden in here, but look at how awesome this is. This is our first year ever growing pumpkins. And this is just from one pumpkin seed, what we produced. We have tomatoes in the back and eggplant, peppers, and our sunflowers. And the sunflowers are growing taller than our garage, which is ridiculous. We'll do a comparison. There's Vincent, and there's our sunflower. I mean, it's not record breaking or anything, but it is in the neighborhood. Nobody can I'm outgrow our sunflowers over here. I'm five foot nine. He's five foot nine, so that's about the tallest sunflower, one of our tallest sunflowers. But yeah, so this is our backyard, and I just wanted to share it with you guys. We use rabbit, we use our rabbit droppings as fertilizer. As you can get in and get a shot of the rabbit. Oh, I don't know, honey, if I can actually get in there, but we'll see. So well, you yeah, see the rabbit that, pellets. We put the ra our rabbit. This um, is from the rabbit cage, a little bit of newspaper in there. You can see all the rabbit droppings, so that's our organic fertilizer. And, and, I, and this is all organic as well. And then I also use a little bit. We're also food. growing squash, cucumbers, and cantaloupe. These are all organic. And look at how our cantaloupe yeah, so is coming. And then we have a watering system built in through the buckets. We had to do this because our backyard, we have a huge oak tree and it gets no sun. So that's why everything is moved up. And then there's the oak tree back there. So as you can see, it's shading everything. But we were able to have this plentiful garden with just a little tiny strip of sun at the edge of our backyard. This and this is, is what we use. Fertilizers. One of the fertilizers. But I'm gonna end this video, guys. Oh, wait, wait he wants to show you one more thing. I'm showing the mulberries. And this is our mulberries coming up. Basil. Basil. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Strawberries. Strawberries. Oh, and we also have a huge strawberry garden in on the front of our yard. We have uh, built-in garden beds in the front, and maybe I'll do another video with the front yard another yeah, time. But we had a lot of strawberries come up, and they were great. Everything organic. This, there's oil in here to keep the mosquitoes down. But and this... the, that's this watering system. There's oil in there to keep the mosquitoes away, but that's kind of how everything started. This, so It's a float valve that allows all the buckets to be watered through a reservoir. And then that's the reservoir. So this is our system here. We live in the city. And, and video we're trying to just grow our own food everything organic. You don't know what's being put in our foods in the grocery stores these days. So thank you for listening in and have a great day, everybody.